Hi, I'm Jack from Jack's Films. Recently, I held a 48-hour film festival where participants had to make a parody, music video, or sketch in just 48 hours. Somehow, it became such a hit that Adobe asked me to make a series of videos breaking down some of my essential workflows for my parody projects. So get ready, get excited, because in this video, we're gonna take a look at captioning and audio in Adobe Premiere. Let's go. One of the most notable changes in Premiere Pro 2021 is the new captions workflow. I know the word captions might trigger some of you, but I promise the new workflow is quite wonderful. On the left, you'll see a few different options, one of which being speech to text, but we'll cover that a little later. Let's start by creating a new caption track. A dialog box will pop up asking for your format, which we will choose subtitle, but if you need a different format, you can select it from the dropdown. At the bottom, you'll see a style box, but it will be empty by default until we create a subtitle style in the next step. After you click OK, you'll see a dedicated captions track sitting on top of your timeline, completely independent from the rest of your video tracks. To make a new subtitle, click the plus button in the captions tab, which will add a caption segment to your caption track and give you essential graphics text editing controls like you're used to seeing throughout the rest of Premiere. Edit your captions accordingly. Choose your font, obviously Comic Sans, choose your text styles, your caption placement, and the caption appearance. Once you're happy with your subtitle, come up to Track Style and create a new style for your captions, name it, and it will save the caption style inside your project. With your caption layer selected, you can choose Split Segment, which will split your caption layer directly in half. Or you can select two captions at once by shift-clicking them and merge them back together. You can also use the Premiere Cut tool and cut the caption segment like any other layer in Premiere. Once you've gone and made all your subtitles, you can export the track as an SRT file to upload to YouTube or send to another editor. If someone sends you an SRT file, you can drag and drop it into Premiere, then add it to your captions track, or you can delete your caption track altogether by right-clicking and choosing Delete. Then import captions track from File, find the SRT file, then it will auto-import into Premiere. Premiere will ask you a few questions, one of them being the text style, where you can now select the style you made for yourself earlier. Choose your start point, and now you're good to go. One of the other options I have in my captions panel is transcribe sequence, which will automatically transcribe audio files as speech to text. At the time of recording this video, this function is not publicly available, but Adobe has plans to roll it out in the coming months. When you do get access to it, choose transcribe sequence and it will bring up some transcription details. Choose audio on track, then select which track you want to point it to, choose your language, then click transcribe. Full disclosure, I am having Premiere attempt to transcribe my song Mansion, and I have no idea whether or not Premiere can transcribe a song. Once it's done, you'll have yourself a transcript of your audio. Honestly, it did a pretty decent job transcribing this. It even got some of my echo vocals in the transcription. Five bedroom, six bath, marble floors and a pool in the back. Downstairs got a gym and a sauna. From this point, you should listen through your audio and make any corrections to the transcript that Premiere got wrong. And once you're done, click Create Captions, which will create a new caption track and drop all the captions onto the track. You'll probably have to correct some of the timings by dragging and moving layers to be perfect, but this workflow will definitely save a lot of time for a somewhat tedious process. If you're gonna auto-transcribe a song, maybe try using the acapella instead of the full mix, it might help a bit more. See? That wasn't so bad, was it? Captioning's made a lot easier with Adobe Premiere. And if you learned any cool tricks in this video, you might like my other tutorials I have right here on Adobe's channel.